guys, it's Alyssa. Today we're in our Airbnb and I want to talk to you about all the amenities we offer our guests. So there's some basic amenities that everyone would expect. A bed, towels, things like that. Not all Airbnbs offer those, but most of them do. Then there are amenities that we offer specifically in our listing, in our post, because we want those people to come to our Airbnb. So for us, that's people with small children, families, things like that. So highlighted in our post description, we talk about our outlet covers. We have a safe Airbnb, it's baby proof. Well, we have stuff you don't have to worry about like that. We also over here talk about our toys, like we have a wide variety of board games for families, we have cows and cars for kids. We highlight stuff like that in our listing because we want to attract families to our booking. But there's other stuff that we don't have that's kind of just a nice surprise when they get here. Things like our welcome binder. Inside our welcome binder, actually this is listed in our posting, but it's nice to have like a physical copy when you get here. It has stuff you can rent, like where to get the scooter, where to get a slingshot when you're in Galveston, and our top places to eat, of course. Over here in our kitchen area, we offer other amenities. These aren't in our posting, this isn't in our listing, but it is always a nice surprise when people get here. Our check-in time is 3 p.m. That's kind of a weird time. It's not quite dinner. It's probably a snack time for kids. So I always try to provide a snack for kids. This is usually where I provide something more local. I almost always provide taffy from a local candy shop here in town, but I am out of that right now. I haven't had a chance to go there. So I grab stuff from my own kitchen. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me what it is, but I want to make sure my my guests have some sort of snack when they get here, as well as water. I usually do one water bottle for every guest that is registered, because Galveston water is gross. Uh, I also have coffee pods for all of our guests, um, and I usually try to offer like a cracker, a cracker, oh what is this, a cookie or something, a piece of chocolate, something that goes with coffee, and we have extras up here. Uh, side note, I know a lot of big companies, they usually throw away anything that's left over, but if it's in a sealed package, I don't throw it away. I think it's wasteful. And so yeah, there's ice cream cones here from somebody. As long as it's not expired and as long as it's in a sealed bag, I keep it for the next guest because that's a nice surprise if you have dinosaur oatmeal when you get to your Airbnb and you have a three-year-old boy. Let's keep going. So in our bathroom, it's very echoey in here. In our bathroom, I provide face masks. Um, nice touch, I feel like. Moms, girls, they're so excited when they get here and there's just a nice little face mask that they can make their partner do with them. If you're going to Target and you're buying these face masks, it's gonna like cost you up, but I buy them in bulk on Amazon and it's not too bad. I also provide their makeup towels and ask people to use the black makeup towels versus staining my white towels. We also provide just basic bathroom amenities. Side note, People were stealing my ponytail holders constantly, so I switched to brighter colors, and people do still take one here or there, but not nearly, like the whole package would be gone every every single booking. So if you buy a rainbow, not, they're not all gonna get stolen. Then under our cabinet, I have some basic extras. I have some feminine supplies, cleaning supplies, extra toilet paper, and then we have hair dryer. Actually, I have a straightener down here. And then I keep, because we are a beach town, I think it's very important that we have a soothing sunburn gel for our guests. And in our bedroom, I always like to make it feel as homey as possible. If guests are checking in in the day, I make sure to open all of the windows so it feels nice and bright when they come in. And if they're checking in at night, I turn out all the lights and leave all the lamps on. I usually leave a nice folded towel or two for our guests. It just has like a nice hotel luxurious feel to it. Doesn't cost me anything. It's just a nice clean towel. And when I know guests are coming with infants, I try to set up the pack and play for them because that's one less thing that people have to worry about. And again, this brings me good reviews. Taking one extra minute to just set up a pack and play for a guest it's great. The last thing that we offer our guests, we have tons of place to charge things and disposable sleeping masks that I leave on the nightstand for guests so they can charge and sleep their dreams away. Walking around with me and checking out these things. Of course, outside as well, we have our patio and our stock tank. If you haven't seen my videos about our stock tank, be sure to check those out. I highly recommend stock tanks for anyone with kids, anyone with an Airbnb, anyone with a backyard, honestly. We love our stock tank pool. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. I like making videos like this. If you're into this, let me know. 
See you next time.